one of the best and most enjoyed festival in India. Do you celebrate Holi? Do you know the reasons why we celebrate Holi? So today I am here to tell you why we all celebrate Holi. Celebration of Holi signifies the victory of good over the evil. And today I am here to explain you why this culture has all started about. So let's go ahead. Come. One of the reasons for us to celebrate Holi is the death of a demon and witch Holika. According to Hindu mythology, Holika was the sister of demon king Hiranyakashipu, who was very wicked. He always wanted everyone to pamper and pray him. He never agreed there was another supreme almighty above him. Hiranyakashipu didn't like Prahlad being a devotee of Lord Vishnu. But Prahlad never agreed with his father. He always said, Lord Vishnu is the Supreme Almighty that has controlled everyone and will be. But Hiranyakashipu never ever agreed to this point. Instead, he started plotting his own son's death. They had plans to throw him into a chamber of poisonous snakes. And so did he. But Prahlad sat just sat and enchanted the name of Lord Vishnu. He started enchanting saying that, Lord Vishnu, you are the father of the universe and please save me if I am wrong to punish me. And Lord Vishnu created the Vishnu Chakra around him, saving him from the poisonous snakes from attacking Prince Prahla. There was an invisible chakra around him where even the poisonous and venomous snakes couldn't affect Prince Prahla, the devotee of Lord Vishnu. And after a while when demon Hiranyakashipu came and opened the door to see his son's death, he was astonished, shocked and surprised to see that Nothing could destroy the little boy. He sat still like that, enchanting the name of Lord Vishnu, happily and peacefully, with a cute smile. The demon king Hiranyakashipu started feeling lower and started thinking what could have affected and saved this boy. In spite of throwing him into a chamber of poisonous snakes, not even one snake could kill him. He started wondering what could have saved Prince Prahlad. Meanwhile, he has come up with another wicked plan of throwing Prince Prahlad into a herd of wild, crazy elephants. He wanted to kill Prahlad by throwing him into a herd of elephants and wanted Prahlad to be died in that stampede. And he did the same. He took Prahla to a forest and threw him into a herd of elephants. And not even a scratch on this boy's body. Yes, he started enchanting the name of Lord Vishnu, saying, Om Namo Narayanaya. With that glare and confidence, there's again that invisible chakra around him, protecting him from the herd of elephants and that couldn't affect anything trust me anything and the third evil plan was Holika Holika was a devil and witch who was a sister of this demon Hiranyakashipu. Holika couldn't see her brother's sorrow and then said Brother, I am with you and this time I am going to kill Prahlad. Holika had a bone from Lord Brahma that if she happens to sit in fire, 
she would not be burnt. But there is a small difference. Due to their evil thoughts, they forgot the rules and regulations of the boon Lord Brahma has given to Holika. She has taken Prahlad into her laps and sat down in a pyre, a log of wood that were set into a pyre of fire and she went and sat inside, taking Prahlad into her lap. But what happened? Prahlad started enchanting the name of Lord Vishnu and Holika got burnt. How did it happen? Hiranyakashyap was taken aback and he just asked Lord Brahma, what is this? My sister was burnt with this holy boon of not being killed even if she was in fire. But Lord Brahma explained, saying that she was burnt to not have been destroyed if she was in fire all alone. And she had evil thoughts of destroying Prahlad. So she was burnt. And that's why the victory of good over the evil was celebrated. And that's how the celebration of Holi came into existence in India.